So my mother was born in the town of Kamija on the island of Vis in 1929. Carefree lifestyle. She, um, the men would be fishermen. They'd come home at night. They'd work in their farms. They'd work on their vineyards. And my mother had a nice, nice life. There was another island uh, right off of Kamija named Bishabo, where my mother would spend a lot of times. So that's where their farm was. So um, the real tragedy of her story is when World, the outset of World War II, when World War II broke out, you know, she was, she was dodging bullets, she was hiding from bombs, and eventually uh, the British had control over the island of Vis, and they were evacuating people to uh, their own camps. And some people went to Italy, and other people went to Egypt, and some stood in Kamija, but my, my mother, my grandmother and my great-grandmother and grandfather went to Egypt, and they had to cross the Mediterranean. And during World War II, that's a, that's a feat in itself. They're lucky, to, lucky they weren't torpe torpedoed or killed just crossing the Mediterranean. They landed in Egypt, I believe Alexandria, and they were shuffled onto ca cattle cars. My mom's telling me this story, and you know, she, she had tears in her eyes because she's telling me this story. And uh, at, at night, and uh, they were transported to the Sinai Peninsula, uh, right close to the Suez Canal, to a basically concentration camp run by the British called El Shat, uh, where my mother spent uh, a couple of her teenage years there until, until the war was over. And uh, when the war was over, there, you know, there weren't any telephones, there weren't any uh, Skype or anything like that. They got a letter they saw a U.S. airman who knew San Pedro and was coming here to Los Angeles, and they got a letter and gave it to this U.S. airman who eventually got it to my grandfather who was living here in San Pedro and fishing. And uh, they were able to come to New York and by train make their way here to San Pedro. And uh, I'll tell you, my, my mom tells me when she first came here, she wanted to go back right away. She went to San Pedro High, uh, you know, not knowing a word of English. But thank goodness she was in San Pedro. There was a lot of Croatians, friends, and that she made and uh, helped her get, get through that time. And uh, she eventually didn't graduate, and she had to graduate later because there was work to be done, and she got a job at Starkist, Canon. <laughs> so why go to school if you had a job? <laughs>